DaVinci Resolve 16 Creative Color Grading in less than five minutes. Let's go. What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer, content creator, and cinematographer, and you guys absolutely loved my teal and orange color grading tutorial. So today, I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes on one of my favorite clips I've ever color graded, where I use what I call the art of creative color grading. It's where we make the unrealistic colors look real in motion picture. It's the colors everybody tells you to stay away from. Those purples, those pinks, those greens, those unnatural colors. So today, our color palette with this bland sunset. I'm gonna show you guys how to take this bland log footage and turn it into this beautiful warm pink sunset. And so obviously our color palette today is pink. Let's head right in there, throwing five minutes on the clock right now. Let's get started. By the way, if you don't know how to get those black bars, timeline output blanking 2.35. Now, we're gonna start out, if you guys don't know, if you've never seen any of my tutorials, we always start out with our node setup. So all left clicks, left click on the green dot, add serial. From there, we're gonna, in the center, left click, add node corrector, left click, add node corrector, and then one more left click, and then we're gonna add node layer mixer. Attach that green dot to that green dot, that green dot to that green dot, that green dot to that green dot, that green dot to that green dot that blue dot to that blue dot, and that green dot to that green dot. Node one is going to be our exposure, saturation, mid-tone details, all that jazz, our basic corrections. Node two is going to be where we qualify and mask out our skin tones. You can also correct your skin tone colors if there's any fringing in this node as well, but I'm not gonna show you that. That is going to be in this video up here, my first color grading tutorial. If you haven't already seen it, click up there. Node three is where we do our color grade, and node four is where that mask passes through. And that just makes all that happen over here at the layer mixer. So now let's gonna go in, I'm gonna show you guys. So to saturate this, so let's go through our basic corrections. I'm gonna saturate this, and I'm gonna use the RGB mixer. And I'm actually just gonna throw it all the way up to two in each case. And I think that looks fine. It's a beautifully saturated image. So you can see before, after with our saturation. Next thing we're gonna do, and this all depends on you. Sometimes that may be oversaturated. Just make sure all these numbers stay the same in each channel. And you don't want the red to correspond with the red. Green just correspond with the green and blue to correspond with the blue. We're gonna go over into number two in our color wheels tab. And I'm going to warm this up a bit to about 220. That looks good to me. And I'm gonna add a mid-tone detail of 46. That looks good to me. So right there, that's what we have so far. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna correct the exposure from and correct the log um, image. And so I'm just gonna simply set my black point to around right here, looks nice. And then I'm gonna bring down my mid-tones till her skin tone looks natural. And right about there is what seems like a good correction to me. We can always come back and tweak that a little bit later if we want to, but I'm thinking that looks pretty good right there. And I may just warm this up just a smidge again, right about there. Cool, now we wanna qualify our skin tone. So the, the nice thing is here, I'm actually gonna qualify all of her. I want her to stand out completely from the sunset, which we're, which we're about to you know, color grade. So I'm gonna make sure our little magic wand to select it, select your skin tones. Then we're gonna go to the add, we're simply gonna add in those pieces right there. Try to get it off of her glasses. And you know what, if this was my own video and I had more time to be doing this, it wouldn't be so sloppy, but for the sake of the five minute tutorial, I'm just gonna kinda show you guys how I would wing this. And then you can even do a high soft right here and move it back. And then again, add in the blue. Oop. If anything looks unnatural, just go back, undo it. Um, we can always add in the blues up there to have more control. I'm making sure I add in those pinks, add in all that saturation value right there. And I think for right now, that's probably as good as it's gonna get. We can go through and correct that later if we need to. And then I'm actually just gonna go ahead and add some clean whites to clean up some of that right there. Add a blur radius of about three and then clean blacks to kind of clean that up. I don't think we're gonna see that much and I don't think we're gonna see the halo. So now let's move on to our color grade. Turning off this wand, because we won't see our color grade, we're gonna do this specifically in the log wheels. But the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna resaturate this. Instead of going all the way to two, we're gonna go to 147. So 147 in each, because I don't wanna overdo it. I just wanna make sure that this stands out. 
And I'm gonna, going to left click here and I'm gonna add another serial node because I'm gonna add another correction too in the highlights. So I'm gonna drag my midtones all the way out to this pink. Yes, I know it's aggressive and that's exactly what I want. Now that didn't show up. That's because we need to change our high range. It's the log wheels. Now that we've changed our high range, boom. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing in the shadows. I'm gonna set my low range a little bit lower. That can pop through in the shadows. Now to me, um, one of the things I'm gonna do, now that I know which color I selected in my midtones, I'm simply gonna come back to number two. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my highlights. Why? Because I want the highlights on her face to match the lighting that is going on in the scene. So I'm gonna add that magenta into that, that highlights, just a little bit of it to make it subtle. And then to get the warmness, the orangey, oranginess back into the sunset, I'm gonna add a little bit of orange in our node too. Oop, this is the wrong node. So I did that correction there. I actually did this correct. So we can, since we did that correction in node two, we're just gonna do this in node one. We're gonna add the oranginess back in there. And that gives us this nice pink sunset. And if you look, as we play through this clip, you can't really tell that it's, it's a sloppy key, but even the sand, all that looks normal. And you can see that there's some artifacts right there that you might wanna clean up. But other than that, we have taken this from this to this. And we did it all, hopefully within five minutes. I haven't seen it yet. Probably blew past five minutes, I don't know. But if you guys like this video, like this quick color grading tutorial, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and turn on those post notifications. As I said, um, I would have qualified this a lot better if I had more time and that's up to you, your qualifications. You know, those are what's going to take the most time for the best looking image. So don't let, you know, any of the artifacts deter you. This method obviously works and we did that all super quickly. Be sure to follow my YouTube fam. Their links are in the description down below. And also be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below. If you guys are ever feeling uninspired, want to give up, or just stop caring about life, remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. I'm Sydney. I'll see you next time. Peace out.